puppy's first little adventure outside. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Your sisters are outside. This is just a little courtyard for the puppies. Nice and safe and secure. Last little girl coming. Are you coming, little puppy? <laughs> They're not sure what to make of it, are they? <laughs> not sure. Seven weeks old now. That's grass. What do you think of grass? <laughs> not sure. So many new smells. Now they're having fun, aren't you? Look at you go, yes. So hard to show the sizes of them. <laughs> there's, a, there's a spray can. <laughs> they're very tiny puppies, aren't you? Yes, you are. You're tiny, yes, you are. You're gorgeous though, aren't you? And so are you, yes, you are. <laughs> oh yeah, just want cuddles, don't you? <laughs> no, I can't pick you both up. Now they're having fun, aren't they? Look at you go. You're gonna sleep well tonight. G'day guys, welcome back. <laughs> Look at my menagerie of creatures. Now, hopefully you've seen me create all of these gorgeous pieces. Um, and these have all got something similar, um, like in common. They've all got stuff inside them. Like my dragon had the steampunk, it's got the cogs and the keys. Um, this frog had glitter and uh, like a rose gold coppery color my snail it had those floating balls in it um, this frog has got pebbles in it uh, we have another silver frog with blue glitter there's the gold frog with goldy glitter uh, there's the gorgeous gecko <laughs> with more glitter uh, this one was a lot of fun this was the the snail with the string ball or koosh ball in it. That one was a lot of fun. And then the black frog with the skeleton leaf in it. So today, following along those lines of putting stuff into resin, I want to show you what I've been working on. I'll just clear this and then I'll show you. This is so exciting, you guys. Ta-da! Look what I've created. Now, you've seen me use uh, Druzy inserts before. I've got a lot of them, but these, these have got some height to them. They're not just those flat, round discs, which are also great, but I thought I want to do something different because I want to put these into things, all right, like this. Look, look at this. Look how adorable that is. And it looks amazing and it's all crystally and shimmery and shiny. There's just two little samples I've done just to see, you know, how it would look if it would work. And it does, it does. And I'm so excited. So look at the crystals on the inside. Oh my gosh. So these are just a couple of little samples. These were done with um, this one, this piece here. 
hopefully it's focusing so it's not a, it's not a huge piece but it's a good piece to fit inside the little bunny mold and that this video I'll make a video on this it will be coming up soon 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 I've, I've got lots of videos I want to do these with I'm gonna do a series so there'll be bunnies um, today I'm gonna to do a frog so those that's what I used for those but anyway I'll talk to you a bit about those a bit later on now these this is my favorite here look at this look at the size of this big daddy look at this so flat on the bottom so it would be great to use in something deep so these two this one is a little bit not quite as not quite as deep about the same size but not quite as steep these two come in a pair uh, these four these four will come as a set these now these are made from a bigger crystals um, I use real amethyst crystals to make these so you get around that one's kind of a little bit different shape different shape again they're all pretty thick pretty deep um, this one, oh, I've got some ideas for that one, and then there's that one as well. So they're all they're pretty big. So there we go. Those are those are a set of four. Um, they're not in my store just yet, but I will. Now these um, these ones, as I said, they they were for the little bunnies that I used, um, and then these little guys. Oh, let me go and see. I'll go and I'll go and grab something I've made with that. Hang on. No, they've all gone. They've gone. I um, I popped them in my puffy heart mold, you see. And um, I've made some of those, but I've given them away as gifts, you know, to people when they they buy molds. So, but anyway, I'll do a video on those as well. But how cool are these? I'm super excited. So today I'm going to use my frog mold and this guy here. This medium. Or smaller one not the quite high one only because it's probably <laughs> it's too high it's a is a big one but um, this one I'm going to use the smaller one so that's what I'm going to do today it fits in there really quite nicely and hopefully hopefully we'll get like a gorgeous crystal look so I'm going to do that and I'm going to use some green inks because you know generally frogs are green so that's what I'm going to do so I'm going to get sorted out mix up my resin and we'll get going now I weighed one of my other frogs and it weighed 124 125 grams which is about 4.4 ounces so I know that that's how much resin I'm going to need although this Druzy cluster and I'm going to call them Druzy clusters because I don't know what else to call them it's kind of like an iceberg a mound I don't know it's a cluster now this is going to displace quite a bit of resin so I don't know how much exactly uh, so I have just got um, I did 80 grams of A and 35 grams of B and I did use the platinum rivet table resin because if I poured my Platinum 360 Plus in there, it would just flash cure and I'd have a million bubbles. So you need a, a deep pour resin. So um, I, want a, I want a really pretty green. I don't want a dark green. I don't want a neon green. I want a pretty green. So I'm going to use the emerald green from Let's Resin. Now, when you're doing these, um, you need to, with the Druzy Clusters, uh, they really do need to be as transparent as possible, okay? Um, otherwise, you don't get the right effect. So I'm just going to put a drop on that. I'll hang on to this stick in case I want to add more. Just change sticks. As little as possible, okay? as little as possible that's plenty <laughs> I won't use the rest of what's on my stick I'll just clean that off all right um, so yeah um, as little as possible otherwise you lose that brilliant shine 
of your of your druzy of the crystal effect so you just want a hint just a hint of color now what I'm going to do um, once I it's hard to explain well it's not really but this this is going to trap millions of bubbles and there's a hair on it so apart from using your deep pour resin you can pop that in there and let it get covered in resin although you are going to get a million bubbles let me show you let me show you what I mean see millions of bubbles now because I have got a vacuum chamber I am going to pop this cup with the druzy cluster into my vacuum chamber and try and get all those bubbles out yes you look at you out you come so I'm gonna go and do that so I've popped it into the chamber there and I'm gonna put the lid on I need two hands for this so I'm just gonna pop you down for a sec so this one needs to be closed that one needs to be open down the side of the tube there and then we flick that on okay pretty basic and off it goes so if you haven't used a vacuum chamber before this little line has to go all the way around that little hand I should say all the way around we probably won't see it doing too too much yet oh there it is look at the bubbles Now these would all be in your resin. I mean, a lot of them will come up on their own because it is, um, you know, a, a really thin resin. It's made for deep pores, so it has really good bubble release. But I don't know that it would get all the bubbles out. Now I'm just waiting for this little hand to get down to that minus one in the red there. Unless it starts looking as if it's going to overflow. If it starts looking as if it's going to overflow, then I'll turn it off. I just thought I'll do this a couple of times um, and then I'll use the resin in my frog mold. If you don't have a vacuum chamber, that's okay. Just use a deep pour resin that's really, really thin. And also soak your druzy cluster in some resin beforehand and sort of rub it with your fingers and try and get all the resin to go into all the little crevices almost there but I am going to stop it now so that we don't have an overflow so I'm just going to let that sit in there for a, a minute or so um, and then I will release the pressure with this slowly bring it down and then all the bubbles will pop and I'll do it again and I'll probably do it a few times and then I will see you back at the workbench for the next step. Righto, so there is my little cup of resin with my druzy. Um, I did it three times to get the bubbles out and um, we're good to go. Probably only needed to do it once really because <laughs> I think it, it would just keep going and going and going forever. So you just need to stop at some stage. All right, now... 
Um, let's see if I can pick him up with my tweezers. Oops, nope. They're not very good quality tweezers, these ones. Oh gosh, I might have to stick my fingers in there. Um, what else can I use? I've got a better quality one. I wonder if that'll work. Yes. <laughs> All right, now while I'm holding that up, because I don't want to drip everywhere, I'm just going to pour gently, as gently as I can, into my little froggy. There we go. Mm, not exactly sure how much to put in, but I'm not going to fill it all the way. I can always add some more later. I just don't want him to overflow. So let's just pop this back down now. Like so. I feel like I'm doing a surgical procedure or something. <laughs> Oh, all right, there we go. Um, now, don't push on them because, on the druzies, because they can go under the resin and then you're going to have a big mess, you know, trying to get it back, back up again. So you can, you know, sort of reposition it carefully with some tweezers or something, but I would just, just leave it. All right, now, now that it's in there, we'll add a little bit more. I'm thinking about making, putting another drop of the green in there towards the end just to do the feet <laughs> in a slightly darker green. What are, you, what are your thoughts on that? Might do that. I'm just going to add this really slowly. See how, oh gosh, he's, he's going under. He's going under. This is why you should really, I think... Put the resin in first. Let's just dry that surface there. Okay. Yeah, it's probably a better idea to put as much in as you as you need to, um, and then drop the druzy. But I didn't know how much to put in. This is the whole thing. I didn't know how much it was going to display. So it's about a centimeter in the bottom there. Um, all right, I'm going to add, I'm going to add another drop of this emerald green by Let's Resin. Shall I? No, not yet. Not yet. I'm going to add a little bit more of this light green first. Dry the top off so it's not so heavy. Put it back down. They do like to float, so that's a good thing. Now the the head's got a bit of silicone that goes over the top there, so it's going the silicone insert wants to sort of go underneath it there, so I guess we'll just have to let it do that. All right, now let's do one more drop of the green. I have to clean my hands. I've got resin all over my gloves. Look at that. <laughs> I'll just pour this into his little feet there. It probably will spread, you know, a little bit. Um, oh, I hope it'll be all right. I hope so. I have these ideas of things that I, I want to try and then I think, oh gosh, I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I should wait until this is set a bit more. No, no, that won't work. That won't work. Right. Yeah, it's just because, see this, this bit here is going like over the, it's going over the top, so the silicone wants to go in underneath it there. That's what it's doing. Um, I'm going to get my scissors and I'm just going to trim off this little bottom bit here, if I can. If I can. Just 
just snip like that just so hopefully it will come back just a touch don't know if it'll make much difference all right that's enough with the surgical procedures let's get a wriggle on I'm just going to pour this into his little feet here really carefully don't want any spillage and then once I've done this with the darker green I'm not going to be able to poke and prod and all of that because then my two colors will will mix too much and I don't really want that to happen should have popped this in a little paper cup actually just to get into the little toes there whoops now it looks as if that corner there or that end does want to keep going under the head so we'll just leave it it, it won't be a problem uh, because you know how resin comes off silicone really easily so if there has been a little bit that goes over the top like that of the little silicone cluster little druzy cluster it'll just peel straight off once we've demolded it so don't stress too much about it if you are doing this particular frog with this particular <laughs> druzy cluster uh, it'll just peel off later okay I think that's about it we're full we are full all right, I'm going to clean up my mess because <laughs> I've dripped now. Yeah, just be careful not to move it too much, hey? There's the little end bit that I just snipped off. You can snip them to, to suit whatever piece you're doing. Um, so because it's going down on an angle to fit through there, we are getting that little bit of resin coming up. But like I said, It'll just peel straight off later on. So I'm just going to leave it. I'm not going to fiddle. I'm not going to torch. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to leave it because you guys know I'm a fiddler and then I end up ruining things with my fiddling. So this is going to take 24 hours to set before I can unmold it. So I will see you guys tomorrow. And hopefully it will work. Don't know that the dark green's staying in there, but anyway, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see you. I'll see you tomorrow. Right, it's the next day. It's the following day in the afternoon, so more than 24 hours. Um, when I poke my nail into it, it still leaves a tiny little dent, but I'm not waiting any longer because I can't wait any longer. Now, this little bit here, this little thin bit, um, I peel that off this morning um, just like that because it was getting it's quite thick on the one side there and it was getting a bit hard so I thought I best peel it off before it sets up too hard so that's what I did just peeled off um, if it doesn't come off you can use your heat gun and just warm the area and then it'll come off easier um, as you can see it's still quite bendy <laughs> oh, anyway all right oh, I'm so excited I'm so excited Let's do this. Let's get it out. Hope I don't break any toes. Let's, I'll start at the back actually. It's easier. Easier to start at the back and work your way forward, I find. With the little froggies. There's this little thing here that you can pull like that and it helps to break the seal but you just be careful about their little tootsie toes oh my gosh you guys I can't wait I can't wait I hope I hope there's no bubbles I hope the druzy cluster looks amazing in there I hope it's not too 
dark, <laughs> you know, because I added that dark green. So I've got all these hopes. But anyway, we shall soon find out. It's a good idea to actually write your weights, you know, on your, on your moulds, just on the underside. Then you'll know each time how much to mix up, hey? Because if you've got a lot of moulds, it's sometimes a bit difficult to remember what they all take. Actually, I think I'll peel it this way now. There we go. And we just wriggle his little head out. And there you go. <gasps> all right. Now, as you can see, there's our druzy cluster in there. It's taken up quite a lot of room, hasn't it? Wow. That's so cool. All right. Now, what we need to do is we need to peel it out. And this is just going to take me a little while. It's going to kind of loosen it around the edges. Like so. I love the noise it makes. And it's out. <laughs> oh, look. Look at that. Oh, I'm in, I'm in love with the inside of it. Wow. Look at that. Look how sparkly it is. Can you see the sparkle or do we have to go outside? I'll go outside later and do it and show you again. But look at that. So that's it there. All right. Now, are we ready? Let's turn it over. Let's do the countdown. One, two, three. Oh, wow. Look at that, you guys. Oh, wow, that is just incredible. Oh, it's turned out so good. And I can see a little bit of darker green on his little knees and then in his arms there. Oh, wow, that is amazing. His toes have gone a bit lighter probably because they're so thin that you can't really see that. The dark. Oh, wow, I'm so happy he's turned out. Now, if you wanted to, you could use a smaller, uh, you know, druzy. I've got, he's got a smaller one here, but, you know, it's, I don't think it's going to make as big an impact um, as the big dudes. But, um, yeah, uh, I'm making more, I'm making lots of different sizes. So you can choose different sizes, like for different pieces. I've also got this one. So this one... I mean, that's the one I showed you before. No, this one. I've got a, a thick, a medium, and then a, this this one here is the, the thinnest one. So, like, you could have used that in there as well. Um, fits pretty much the same, but it's not going to come up as high into his body. So, depending on the look you want, you might want to have more clear resin, like, between the druzy cluster and, and the... The top of his back there in which case you would just use the shallow one like so but I chose to use the, the thicker one so there you go all right let's go outside do you want to come with me let's go it's very bright out here today it's a very hot day I don't know can you see properly I can't even see into my screen because it's just black you know when you're outside and you can't see into your screen there he is there's the inside I don't know if you can see oh gosh I can't even see where where he is I can't see where he is I'm gonna have to stand over here in the shade <laughs> really see <laughs> I can't really see what, what I'm doing <clears throat> all right well there he is anyway I uh, hope you love him as much as I do I think he's so cool love him <laughs> all right I'll come back this way where I can actually see oh, all right that was a lot of fun thank you so much for watching um, I'll take some nice photos of him anyway I'll pop him on on my lily pad 
and um, yeah I'll do some more I'll do the smaller insert next time so that you can see what the difference is um, and what they look like with a different size but yeah stay tuned and we'll do them again thank you so much for watching and uh, I'll see you again real soon for the next one okay take care guys bye for now